What is up, everybody? It's Bella, and welcome back to uh, Until Dawn, where we had left off. We were playing as Emily, and we were in the mines, and this guy was telling us to shush, um, and he pushed us down something. We, and now we have some way to light the way, and we are going to do that. But first, I decided to check the butterfly effects before I got started, and we were looking at. I was looking at this one, and it said that Chris said he would save Ashley. Ashley was grateful and felt indebted. But Josh felt betrayed and antagonized Chris, and Chris hit Josh. I just thought that was kind of interesting, because Josh, Josh was upset. What was it? What did it say? He said he felt betrayed, because that was his best friend. But also, it's kind of better if you save Ashley, but we can get into that later. Previously on Until Dawn. Josh? <laughs> Josh! How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once, one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off! No! Nope! No, no, no! They're gone! Jessica's fucking dead! What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. And you were gonna fucking pay, you ah! dick! What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. Jeez. Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Matt. So we're here, and we're going to head out, I guess. There's not really a lot to do. This music is fucking going, dude. Okay. Into the gap. Okay, this is gonna be the way. I'm supposed to, but what happened? No! My controller, I think, just died, so. It's a bad place to just oh, randomly God. stop working. You're okay, Emily, got you. Okay, okay. Step out of it, Stay still, stay still, stay still. Fucking run. Dude, 
Run. It's so behind you. Oh my god, I thought I messed that up. I hit the wrong button again. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> go away. Go away, go away, go away. Who are we running? Who is this? Who the fuck is this? Is that one? I'm like a good girl running. If I'm doing one of those two. Go away. Fuck that though. Crap, what now? Let me in, let me in! Let her in quick! Hurry up! What about some of your doors? Shut the door, oh my god, shut the door! Emma, are you alright? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody murder. You, okay? you looked yeah, totally yeah, There was something. Where is that? Come sit down, sit down. Something's out there. Did you there. guys split up? A monster at the moment? Wait. Mom? Um, you okay? Yeah, we're just gonna turn okay? right now. I'm fine. I, I don't feel anything. I just need to calm down. It was moving so damn fast. What? I just had to get away. Away from what? There, there was this, this thing, whatever it was. Em, Em, if you could relax, Josh was messing with You're us. You're not listening to me. It's not Josh. Uh, concerned. Where's Matt? Wait, Em, where's Matt? Is he okay? I don't want to talk about that fucking sack of shit. Wow. He left me. He just fucking abandoned me. Bitch, when I was trying to save you. I had to jump. Tower about to we were die. My tower. And then I, I fell into this terrifying freaking mine shaft, and he was just gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what mine shaft? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and then it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. I found Oh, my God. It. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? She was down there for a while. I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her. We had no idea. Jeez, that's horrible. Yeah, you think so? Listen, in in the tower, there was there was a radio, and, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em. You made it. Oh God, yeah, yeah, Mike! For each other. Wait, why are they all? Like, I was what not about We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. No, she's Emily. Not. Hey, Em. Whoa. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess. It's not Jess. Mm, could be. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check could it out. Could be Matt. No one ever. No one gets Matt. I got your back. I got your back. Right. I got you, bro. Could have easily just not opened the fucking door. Suggest I'll cover the door. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? You ready? Come on. Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. <laughs> I, unless you want me to <laughs> I take the gun. The no, no. I no, think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. Okay. Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? The? All right, all right. He's like, nah, just stop. Take it easy, Grandpa. That's my gun anyway. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. Okay. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. Yeah, you mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, we're responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Let him talk. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. Like, you probably won't believe me, but I'm gonna I tell you anyway. I got reasons I wanna get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. 
Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh crap. That's what took her. <laughs> That's what took Jess. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Shit. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. Thanks. No. No, he can't be. I, we, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. Yeah, I know. No, I, I'm not letting anything else happen to him. Anything else? What What do you mean? Uh, Chris, don't. I hit him. We thought he'd killed Jessica, and, and, and so he got me riled up. And I hit him in the head. Chris! Maybe he deserved it. No matter what, we can't just let him die. Yeah. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. Yes, you do. Going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. Okay. And don't go outside again until we're back. Okay. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. He does. He just well, wants I'm to see I'm going to get Josh, Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. Okay. Go hurry up. There's a shotgun. This is the end. You point towards oh, the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? <sighs> Trust me. I know. Did he see you earlier when you were at the hey. shooting range? Come back safe. Uh, see, this wouldn't happen if you chose to save Josh. Uh, see you soon. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. Uh, what's uh, what, what, what's a guy got to know? You look so you just be careful. You follow my lead. Okay. Let's go. Hurry up. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you've been shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No. No. no you don't. It'll slow it down. But how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them. If you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. Good to know. It's gross. A bit. You see where they drag Josh. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable? Or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? some pattern like what like any animal or human well, like how like they've got schedules I well know. they only hunt at night oh why i didn't ask yeah he doesn't fucking know dude like prepared the, uh, quick time events pro wendigo tips like if i rub garlic all over me they won't be able to smell me or something oh, they'll still smell you anything like that I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. yeah. But... Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Yeah, me either. Unless you have no other choice. Last case scenario. Things Wendigos are or, or were human. Do they do they still have some aspect of humanity? No. Damn it, what happened? He's gone. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh. Quiet. 
Right now, we gotta find Josh. Right. He can still be out there. First, down. when you go, he'll render you immobile. Is this time for a fucking biology then lesson of it? He strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. That's gruesome. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. Yeah. So we'll watch that. Yeah. Let's go now. Might still be near. Just be very quiet. Follow him. Okay, I'm like prepared to be so fucking still. Wait. No more. Be very quiet. Not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Yeah. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? He did. Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it... Uh, tore him apart. I mean, it right technically just me. cut his head off. Oh, so. God. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Why? Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down Nothing here. Oh, dawn, like yeah? Just... All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh. He's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. Yeah. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. Was that the, in, your, in the F bag that he threw at you? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Okay. Bye. And what is all that? It's uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not, Not ever. quite. Yeah. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? There had been a cave in, in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh, my God. Some of them survived, but... Like, 15 of them didn't make it. 18. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some, like, big sure, sure, cover-up sure. going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And 
I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody'd been tortured. That's Michael, disgusting. I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, Still a bitch. it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. You What's so? weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's, That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is that? Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, it's oh my nothing. god. It's nothing. Oh, it just, oh, it, oh, it, no, it no, bit no. me and... It bit you? What bit you? Uh, the, the Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's... It's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes! Shit. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was that from is... eating each other. Remember, he said so, that. Is that how it works? Yes. Eating it people, happens. not Wendigo. You're going to turn people. into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <sighs> you can't be down here with us. What? Mike, Mike! You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you can't stay here. <laughs> Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. It is just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? dickhead. Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with- Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, Ashley, get out of here! A bitch. No, whoa, okay, my god. Whoa, whoa, Mike, calm down. You're- You're gonna shoot me? <laughs> Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. No. Not for us. Don't, don't do this! The totem said not to shoot him. I'm not doing it. I'm really sorry. No, you're not. No, I'm not doing it. Nope. 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 No! Fuck, I can't do this. No, you can't. Oh, you did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. Ashley, fuck off. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird... Dude, she's so right fucking there. You guys know what to do. Yeah. No Actually, I kind of hate you now. I okay. forgot that you talked like it's this. It's not safe out there. And yet you wanted to set her up there, you bitch. No one's checking on fucking Ashley who just had a gun to her fucking head. Ashley, I kind of hate you. Or no. Wait, did I say Ashley had a gun to her head? Emily had a gun to her head. Whatever I said. I thought that that he was gonna help us. With the flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. Yep. I don't know if I can. You'll be able to. You got this, Em. Okay, we can read this once we're all done with it. Because I hard to read in their writing. Let's look at the journal. Okay, a section of the journal. How cannibalism comes Wendigo's curse. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo and the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words or it shall be your death. And your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountains in a fierce winter storms, when he has eaten nothing for days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse. Often those companions who have traveled with him, he will eat the flesh raw from the corpse. I've seen this happen many years ago. A craving of flesh that cannot be sated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first, become milky and white, and the teeth become longer like fangs. The creature grows, and the skin is pulled taut across their bones. That is fucking disgusting, dude. 
There's a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories of a tall creature born in ice. The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm any animal on the mountain and it would hurt and it would hunt elsewhere. In 1993, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traced of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountains. The creed said that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. So that's fucking how it happened. That's how the spirit, the curse got released is the fucking miners. The Wendigo's eyes changed. They become more sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It's like a hunter, like a hawk. But it cannot see stillness. If you are too... Co keep total, totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin is, and the flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. That is a very, very good thing. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It's it is the best weapon. Fire elopes them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death release releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps are, were baited with human limbs from those who have no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountain. So that's what that thing was. That hand thing that we saw in the sanatorium as Mike. That's what that was. It was a trap. There may be defense. Shamans wrote of rituals. I have found native artifacts of the mountains and copied them. Totems, bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their design. I have tested them out on the mountain. They work. They keep the Wendigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. Creed legends say that Wendigos grow from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I have been bitten. I did not change. It's the only way to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Okay, so being bitten doesn't hurt. Updated. What's this? Strange man near the lodge was the flamethrower guy. Yes, it was. There must have been Wendigo sightings that Mr. Guy was collecting. Yes, it was. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight more totems. Okay. Um. Oh no 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 no. What? How no, is it about no. that? Why is it? No no. Conceal this crazy stuff in here. No, reassure. You're she's gonna hate it you, says but it doesn't that matter. The bites. It, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't Good. do anything. Good. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um it says she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine, Michael almost shot me, is that she fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. Please, Emily. Emily, please just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. I'm so 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 sorry. Shit. What? Let M in. That's the name of the trophy I just got. Let got cab Mike in. Jesus Christ. Now. Why? What's it say? What's it say? Someone grab the gun, please. Chris, grab the gun. Chris, Chris, Christopher. Jesus Christ. You dumbasses. Oh, Joshua. So this is his you psychosis. Listen to me. I think. Because like of hearing your choices, voices and people have things. died. I, think that's I don't know which is anyway, worse, sure. actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, haven't seen or someone passively allowing yet, tragedy to yet. occur, because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Okay. Remember last year? Yes, I huh? can't forget it. How you left your poor sisters to he die? He didn't leave them. He didn't know you what did was going nothing on. to help. He couldn't. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, doctor. Josh. It's always all about you. You'll 
game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Oh shit. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Why did you hurt them? He didn't hurt anybody on purpose. Joshua, well, he did why to did you hurt them? them? But he didn't. Uh, they hurt me. I don't. I didn't hurt anyone. That's probably why he did it. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake, and a terrible tragedy befell yeah. your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. Yeah, they didn't mean to kill you. They sisters, were sorry at least until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. I'm sorry. Let's not hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from something even worse than death itself. Turning into a Wendigo? Previously on Until Dawn. Dun dun dun. Oh my god, guys, thank god! What took you so long? It's not so good up there right now. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Uh, yeah, he, uh... Wait! Don't move. Holy shit! What the ah! That's the one to go. What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's gotta have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. Why did they have I was down there. Why did they bring it down with them? There have been a cave in, in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Ah! Oh, shit. Um, what is that? Huh? This is the safe room, M. Please. Fuck, I can't do this. Good. Oh, Why did not do it? You did the right thing. Keep an eye on her. I'll be back soon. Okay, bye. Despair. Two hours until dawn. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're in the same frame again. So is that dawn? Is dawn seven o'clock? That's what it looks like anyway. This is kind of terrifying. Is there a doggy boy still here? Oh, don't scare me like that. Quick turns. Holy shit. What? Huh. Oh, it's just the shotgun. What happened to the walls? Wait, what? The shotgun. But I, I want the, but I want the shotgun. Shit. But yeah, what did happen to the walls? Shit must have happened. Stuff must have collapsed. Because we didn't have access to the stairs before. This is where I thought we could go upstairs. Okay, so I was right though. You could go upstairs at some point. I just messed up the timing of everything. Drop down. Oh, is this where I get the thing? Okay, so I do get a shotgun. I just completely messed up the timeline of when I got the shotgun. Sweet. Get the shotgun, get a bunch of bullets. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. Is that the thing that Emily had? And the lighter finally comes into use again. Yeah, that's the thing that Emily had. Must have brought it up here. Take more than that, please, Michael. Take more than that. Take as much as you can fit in your fucking pocket. Or pockets, uh, depending on how good much you using. Good enough. Good enough, Michael. It's not good enough. You have so many pockets. And you have you have wearing men's pants, I'm assuming, so you have big ass pockets, so fucking grab them. Alright, I'm not quite sure where to go, so I'm gonna end it there. Um, a lot happened in this episode. 
And so hopefully next episode we will find Josh slash give keys and figure out a little bit more about the Wendigos and such. But as always, my name is Bella. Hope to see you guys in the next one. And peace.